Yeah, it's much more stable now. I should have done this upgrade a long time ago. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today we're taking another look here at the Max V2 and the Max. If you saw my previous video, then you know that I've just recently picked up the wide kit for the Max here. I went ahead and installed it. As you can see here, both trucks are now pretty much the same width. I know I'm kind of late with this upgrade, guys. Uh, I never really had plans on getting the wide kit here for the Max uh, for whatever reason. But since the V2 came out and I saw just how good this truck runs compared to the stock Max, I was inspired, if you will, to go ahead and finally pick up the wide kit. We are rocking sledgehammer tires on both trucks now. I went ahead and took the tires that were on the V2, put them on the Max, and went ahead and picked up an extra set here for the uh, V2. The only difference now is that the V2 still has the longer chassis. As you can see guys, both trucks are pretty much the same width. The only difference being now as the uh, V2 does have the slightly longer chassis. So now that the Max has the uh, wide kit upgrade and the sledgehammer tires, I'm really curious to see how well it'll perform now compared to the V2. So enough talk guys, let's go ahead and run the Max and see how well it does now. All right guys, we're gonna give it a quick rip here on the street, but what I'm really curious to see is how it performs off-road. In our previous video, we already found out that the uh, sledgehammer tires improve performance uh, tremendously as far as tire ballooning and uh, stable straightaway speed runs here on the street. The tires just don't balloon out as much. So now what we're seeing with the sledgehammer tires, Along with the wide kit, just like I thought, it drives a whole lot better, guys. A whole lot more stable here on the street. Oh yeah, it's just a whole lot better, guys. We're staying locked in. The trim is set pretty good. So we're staying pretty locked in because the tires aren't ballooning out. It's not making us go wild. That's just throttle right there. Check it out guys, drives a whole lot better. I knew it would. I probably should have installed the wide kit a whole lot sooner guys. It's a dramatic difference. The Max is leaning into turns now, as you can see. Leaning into turns. Now, that's not to say that this wide kit is going to prevent it from traction rolling completely. I mean, this is a monster truck, guys. So the way they're built, I mean, that's just one of their things. They, they traction roll, you know? They got a higher ground clearance. And uh, traction rolling is just a characteristic of a monster truck. You won't be able to prevent it entirely. And it also has a lot to do with the way you drive it. That's a lot more stable, guys. A lot less ballooning. Of course, we figured that out on our last video. You guys would be surprised how just by changing the tires, how much, you know, that can really change the way a truck performs and the way it drives. I had the same similar situation with the Arma Sentin, like I said before in my past video, where all it took was just switching out the tires. And that truck is just like a totally different truck now. That's what I'm seeing here with the Max. With the better tires and the wide kit installed, I mean, it's just handling so much better. Oh, I regret not doing this before. 
There are a couple more upgrades I got planned for the Max and the Max V2 guys. We're definitely gonna go with the steel drive shafts. Uh, I'm probably gonna go aluminum on all four corners. We're gonna go solid green here with the Max and we're gonna go blue anodized aluminum with the V2. I'm also gonna be throwing the wide kit on my X-Max. We're also gonna go green with that kit as well. Right now it's sold out. I guess everybody drives a green X-Max. I don't know, or everybody likes that color. It is a cool color though. So I kind of see why everybody likes it. Oh, it's a lot more stable in the turns, guys. A lot more stable. Look at that. Jumps better. What a difference, guys. What a difference. One thing I didn't do is uh, change the shock oil. I may still do that. I just haven't gotten around to it. For those of you who haven't uh, installed the wide kit on your Max yet, it's really not that hard of an upgrade. It's pretty easy, really. Uh, it is time consuming because you're pretty much rebuilding the entire suspension. And there are some uh, small parts that you want to be careful with. You don't want to lose them. So you kind of want to take your time. It took me about an hour and a half to uh, do the install, but as I was installing, the new parts i was also cleaning the chassis and you know wiping everything down cleaning the shocks and whatnot that's something you're going to want to do since you already have the truck you know taken apart use that time to uh you know clean your truck up what a dramatic difference runs so much better with these tires and the uh suspension kit here so much better. A lot more stable off-road and on-road. Getting a lot less chassis wag too with this uh, wide kit installed. A lot more stable. I'm pretty much giving it throttle now, guys. Whereas before, I was having to really, you know, keep my hands on the wheel here just in case the Max got out of control. And right now, it's just driving as straight as an arrow. We're getting less chassis wag, better wheelies, better jumps. I should have done this upgrade a long time ago. Well, there you have it guys, uh, final verdict. It's everything I thought it would be. Uh, I knew for a fact that once we switched out the stock tires with these sledgehammers, that, that alone would improve performance. Uh, like I said, I've been through this situation before with other RCs where that's all it really took was to uh, just change the way the whole truck handles, uh, you know, in a positive way. Uh, along with the suspension kit here, the wide kit, it just makes it a lot more stable guys a uh, lot more stable in straightaways uh, less tire ballooning with the tires like i said and it just performs a whole lot better it handles a whole lot better on road and off so i'm just uh a little upset with myself that i didn't do this upgrade before but anyways guys that's all i got for this video i appreciate you watching if you like what we do here on the channel make sure to like comment and subscribe it really helps me out this is RC Reviews signing out, and I'll see you guys next time. Later.